and Man 3 director talks a much bigger, more sprawling threequel. Let's break it down. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we're going to talk a little bit about Ant-Man 3. But first, we wanted to remind everybody, if you're looking for your place for all your comic book news rumors and reviews, all while looking for the best and positive in these characters we love, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring this bell. Well, Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp director Peyton Reed has shared another update on the upcoming sequel, and this time he's giving us a couple clues on the scale of this movie. Now, Ant-Man 3 is officially in the works over at Marvel Studios, but we know almost nothing about the movie. There's a ton of rumors, but none of them have been confirmed. Probably the biggest rumor is either MODOK as the lead villain, which many people would like, and the introduction of Cassie Lang as Stature, which very well could lead to the Young Avengers. Now, Peyton Reed gave us a couple clues in a recent Sirius XM Radio interview, so let's just break down his quotes. The first thing he said was, We are working our way through the pandemic, and there are some very exciting things in store, none of which I can speak about right now, as is the Marvel way. Most of us fans are pretty familiar with the Marvel snipers, so this shouldn't surprise anybody. The good news here is, they've been working through the pandemic. This means writing, development, concept art, all that stuff is going on at home, meaning when everybody gets back to work, fewer delays. Now, he was asked if he could share any hints about what fans could possibly expect. And he's a smart guy, he chose his words carefully. But he did note this. I think the third Ant-Man movie is going to be a bigger, more sprawling movie than the other two. It's going to have a very, very different visual template. And that's all that I'll say. Now, this makes me say, hmm. Now, we also know that Hope Van Dyne's The Wasp, played by Evangeline Lilly, will get equal billing in this movie as well. Many fans want to explore that quantum realm a bit more, and it was introduced in the Ant-Man franchise, so that's probably exactly what he means by a different visual style. The previous Ant-Man movies, with the exception of Hank Pym going into the quantum realm, have pretty much exclusively been in San Francisco, so that would be a pretty big change. And quite honestly, I was a bit disappointed that they didn't spend more time in the quantum realm. I don't think they teased that Quantum City by accident, and although we have talked a little bit about the Young Avengers, that would be a great place to stash away a Fantastic Four. Now, we don't have a release date just yet, but it's pretty clear that it'll probably be in 2022. This means it's likely to be part of plans for Phase 5 if Phase 4 actually ends with Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. This obviously could get revised a little bit because of the industry-wide delays, but we'll have to wait and see. In any case, I'm pretty excited for this movie. Paul Rudd Scott Lang has been awesome all the way through his career in the MCU, so I really don't know how anybody can't be excited. So what do you guys think? Are you expecting to see the third Ant-Man movie in 2022? And who do you think we get in that film? The Young Avengers or the Fantastic Four? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.